Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this warm, glowy cranberry look. If you want to recreate this, just keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my face using the MAC Prep and Prime. I'm going to put this all over my face using my fingertips, and this will give us a nice even base to put our makeup on. Next, I'm going to color correct using a green concealer. I usually use the LA Girl Pro Conceal, but I just ran out, so I've been just using this stick green concealer, but any green concealer will do. Then I'm just going to take my NYX HD Studio Concealer in the shade 05 to conceal wherever I put the green concealer. Then I'm going to be using the Innisfree Auto Eyebrow Pencil to fill in my eyebrows. I'm just extending my tail and filling in any sparse areas and then spooling it out. And to conceal my eyebrows, I'm using the Maybelline Master Conceal in light. I'm going to be using a flat top brush and I'm going to be putting it underneath my eyebrow and on top to really make that eyebrow sharp. So for this look, I'm going to be using the Yes Please palette by ColourPop. And to set my eyelids and my eyebrows, I'm using the shade Bling, which is a pink, almost white eyeshadow powder. And using another ColourPop eyeshadow palette in Double Entendre, I'm going to mix the shades Nip Slip and Send Noodles as a transition shade, and putting it all over my crease using a fluffy blending brush. Going back into the Yes Please palette, I'm going to be taking the shade Butter Cake, which is a reddish brown color, and putting it into my crease and focusing it really on the outer edges. Then to warm the look a bit more, I'm using the shade Champs, which is a orangey, very pinky, light color, and I'm putting that all over the crease to really warm the look. And to smoke out the look a little bit, I'm using the shade Mischief, which is a dark chocolatey brown, and putting it on the outer lid and blending it into the crease. Then I'm just blending out all the colors together using a big fluffy brush. And I'm also using my fingers to just sharpen up the outside edges. And we're gonna clean it up with concealer later, but I just really want the sharp shape. And to put a color onto the inner lid, I'm using the color Fold Zip, which is a metallic raspberry, raspberry kind of dark color, and it's really pretty, and I think it really looks good. Cool. Then to hide the brow bone, I'm going back into a double entendre palette and using Locked and Loaded, which is just a pearly white color. I'm just using that under the eyebrow to really highlight that brow bone. And for eyeliner, I'm just using Clinique's um, liquid eyeliner pen and I'm just doing a regular wing eyeliner look. And for lashes, I'm using the Tarte lashes. I don't know what style they're in, I got them as a present, but they're really 
with just long just really pretty lashes. Sorry, I'm hella annoying, but um, also curl your lashes and put on just some light mascara. And I'm using the House of Lashes dark um, eyelash glue, and I'm gonna just put my lashes on now. Clean up around the edges, I'm using the NYX HD Studio Concealer and I'm using it on a flat brush and just lining it right underneath the eyeliner to clean it up. Then for foundation, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Foundation and I'm just putting it all on my face with my fingertips and then blending it out with a beauty blender. The blush I'm using is really fit me blush in Rio 2 Deep Rose. I'm just getting a blush brush and just putting it on the apples of my cheeks. And for highlight, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow in Precious Petals and I'm putting it on my cheekbones and my nose. 